Alright guys, I'm a little bit late on this, but um, I did want to make a video covering this, just sort of, you know, reminding people about this thing coming up uh, next month. So this is going to be during February. Alright, this is interesting. So, uh, the time frame that this is going to be dropping is much earlier than it was last year. Um, so what we're talking about is we're talking about the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. Uh, if you guys remember, this was an event that was held in 2021 that was actually pretty fun, right? It was just like a full day's thing of like, like just, I guess, sort of celebrating all of the Dragon Ball games, I guess, is, is how we could sort of say it. Um, and it was actually like really, really fun. And then towards the end, we did get reveals um, for a lot of different uh, Dragon Ball games, including, you know, upcoming new things that were going to be coming to uh, Dokkan as well. So, I just wanted to kind of um, set the scene for people that, you know, for this battle hour, we could actually be seeing, you know, potential, like, reveals for Dokkan. Uh, things that could be coming to both Global and JP as well. Now, real fast, one thing I just wanted to look at uh, real quick was this. Okay, so, this is February 18th and the 19th, or 19th and 20th for Japan time. Let me go ahead and take a look. So... This is LR Golden Freeze on 17. They came out on the 16th. And then here's five-year anniversary LR Rosé. He came out on the 17th. Okay. So the battle hour this year is probably going to happen just after um, the top legendary summon banner will drop um, for whatever the theme of the six-year anniversary is over on JP Dokkan. Who knows what it could end up being. Um, right now, I don't, there's not actually any clues or hints, uh, towards what the theme is for the seventh anniversary. No one knows, right? Like, I think we're going to get fusions, but that's just because it's, it's anniversary, right? Like every two years they've done fusions for anniversary. So I just feel like fusions are just more likely than, you know, I, a lot of people want like Saiyan Saga. I personally don't think Saiyan Saga is hype enough. It's like, for you specifically, you could say like, "Oh, I would love Saiyan Saga." It hasn't doesn't have any representation, but remember, like this this is where the game makes most of their money throughout the year. Like I don't when I say most, I mean this is the high point of the year for Dokkan, right? So it's like they're gonna pump out characters that are going to maximize revenue. It's just how it is for these major celebrations, right? And in particular, anniversary. So I mean, expect some form of Gogeta or Vegito to be for the anniversary. Um, and then we'll see what part two potentially could be, but it's going to be right around when this drops. So Dragon Ball Battle, Dragon Ball Games Battle are 2022. Um, so Fighters is going to be there. Xenoverse 2, dude, this game literally will never die. I mean, I've told the story a million times about how I, I, I had just started playing Dokkan and I was in line to pick up my pre-order for Xenoverse 2. And then I was like, you know what? I'll just play Dokkan instead. And I canceled my pre-order. <laughs> it, it, it did end up turning out well. But it's crazy that Xenoverse 2 is still around. Kakarot, huh? Interesting. What, they're going to do more DLC for Kakarot? Okay. Um, Dragon Ball The Breakers. Right? That's definitely going to be interesting once that finally drops. Dragon Ball Legends, of course. Doing pretty good. Um, then we have Dokkan Battle as well. The Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Uh, these are like figures. I actually am not really too sure what the Dragon Star series is. Um, and then Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. So we could potentially get like a new trailer or something like that. So this event is going to be hype. There, there's definitely going to be a lot of stuff going on. I don't know. Maybe we'll get... What if we got like a, 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 a reveal or an announcement for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot 2? And then it covers like the events of Dragon Ball Super. Like how, how fire would that be? Because... We don't, there's, okay, we've, how many games have we had that have covered the events of Dragon Ball Z? 800? How many games have covered, like, the story of Dragon Ball Super? Like, none. Like, it's like, Xenoverse 2, I guess, has got, like, a bunch of sort of stuff like that. But, like, it's just, like, the mobile games. Like, we haven't had a console game that's really, like, covered like, like, the story of Dragon Ball Super, so, I feel like that would be really fire, uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot 2, but it covers, like, uh, Dragon Ball Super, so we have all that, um, dude, the artwork for this is, like, fire, look at this, like, that looks, that looks really good, the Goku and Vegeta right there, um, blasting onto official merch, okay, cool, 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 
I actually might pick up some of this stuff, and it could be cool. You know, like a little Dragon Ball Battle Hour hat or something like that. Um, there's going to be a Fighters Tournament. Uh, they've got, like, the little Xenoverse 2 stuff. Wait, wait, what is this? Seven years of Dokkan data? Interesting. Interesting that it's, like, this is, like, Xenoverse 2 shit. I mean, because, like, you could go watch the Battle Hour, like, in Xenoverse 2, but interesting that it's, like, okay, that's, that's a Dokkan tweet, apparently. Sure. Um, there's more of that. What I wanted to show is this. Okay, so... Um, if the official account gets up to a, a bunch of followers, a bunch of the games are going to get these rewards. Now, I could tell you guys that the rewards are much better than last year. I mean, you know, again, I'm mainly a Dokkan-centric channel. So, meat, diamond statues, and ten stones is not bad, honestly. Um, I look at the Legends rewards as well. A hun 200 energy Five slot removers, 200 chrono crystals for basically nothing. Like, these rewards are fine. Um, Zenny and Fighters, that's just to, like, like do, like, the little capsule shit, right? And then TP Metals gets, like, a, a lot, right, in uh, Xenoverse, so. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think... Okay, so we already have 80k followers. This is for both the English and the Japanese accounts, right? Um, the combined follower total. 150k, I mean, that, that that shouldn't be too bad. What, what are we at right now? This is at 75k. I don't know, I actually, I, well, I'd, I'd have to look at what the Japanese account is as well. I have to imagine between this one and the Japanese account, they gotta be getting close, right? To like 100k and 150k, because again, it says following account includes both accounts. So I assume they're gonna, they're gonna combine them. Um, yeah, yeah. The sum of the English and Japanese accounts combined. Okay. Because it's like, yo, these rewards are definitely not going to be too bad right there. Um, okay. I, you know what I did really want to see if we can't pull up real fast? Is how bad the rewards were last year. See, like, here's the actual schedule. I have this, this schedule pulled up. Yeah, right here. This was from last year, right? Just sort of, like, glancing at what this might look like. A lot of this stuff actually was kind of fun. And there was, like, several different channels as well. There was, like, just a bunch of stuff going on across a lot of the, the Bandai networks. That was cool, you know, if we'll be able to see that again this year. Um, but look, where's the rewards, dude? Uh, this shouldn't be too hard to find because they haven't really tweeted throughout the year, right? It's like after the battle was over, like, they stopped, like, tweeting and stuff like that. Here's our boy Toshi. Yeah, Toshi was there. Dude, where are these rewards? Because I remember it was, like, Z-Swords and stuff like that. Um, let me see. Well, definitely, dude, they made a million tweets during the actual event. Holy shit. There's so much. <laughs> okay. Well, one other funny thing is, remember, they, they had this thing. It was, like, all the different Kamehamehas that have happened, like, during Dragon Ball. Like, it was, like, a hundred Kamehamehas from all of the different Dragon Ball games. And I love that one of them was the tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan even though that Gohan is not in the Kamehameha category in Dokkan. I loved that so much. All right, apparently this is going to take forever just to find these shitty rewards from last year. So I guess I will sort of find this off screen and we'll we'll move on. Because um, one of the things I did right here um, is I did actually pull up uh, my video from last year so we could see what exactly was announced from the battle hour last year. As we could see, it was March 7th of 2021. Um, is when it actually uh, sort of took place, right? Um, okay, so one of the big things, I guess, that was announced was we did get uh, the initial reveal of Patan Battle. Patan, honestly, has not really been too exciting. What is this? This is LF Rosé, who ended up really not being that too crazy. Uh, oh, this is, wow, damn, this is when the future Gohan stuff was announced? Okay. That, that eventually that ended up turning out to be like a Dokkan LR, the animations and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for fighters was so hype. He was so cool in fighters. Um, okay, so version Z. Last year, this is where version Z was initially announced. Now, they didn't actually drop it until November. So, I mean, it was a huge time frame between when version Z was actually announced and when we actually got it in-game. Um, I would not be surprised if maybe, you know, more additions to version Z would be announced during Battle Hour as part of the Dokkan announcement. Um, honestly, judging by the time frame of when this is going to be, too, on the 19th, um, it is possible that Dokkan could sort of tease Saiyan Day. Um, 
Sand Day is not really like the biggest celebration of the year, but it is something that they've, you know, started to do as Global and JP sort of at the same time. So I could see them maybe tease like, you know, the Saiyan Day unit or something like that as one of the things, um, you know, along with, again, the version Z potential continued upgrades um, because they did in this right here. So, so you know, today's the, the first day of the new year, right? Um, they gave us one of these right here. And in here, they talked about, you know, continuing um, the super large update version Z plan in there, right? So I do think we're going to see more. Hopefully, we will get that friend system update. It's, again, really badly needed, right? So version Z, um, oh, they announced the Dokkan now for Saiyan Day. Although, this remember, this, this was the 7th at the time. So it's a little bit closer to Saiyan Day, which is the 18th. Whereas this year, it's going to be on the 19th, right? Um, so we have that, Patan Battle, on, I mean, Patan is okay, here's the thing about Patan, right, just as an addition to the game, it's fine, not like some great savior, but like, I, I do think Dokkan is more fun with Patan Battle than it would be without Patan Battle, right, is, is sort of my thoughts on that, um, I think it's fine, like, collecting the little cards and stuff like that is, is fun to me, um, Patan battle is certainly much better than chain battle. I think we can we can all agree on that. So we have Patan and we have version Z. I think that's pretty much it. That's that's all that was actually announced, right? Was that those two? Um, honestly, if what they give us for the, the you know this next battle hour 2022 is just more like info about you know the next steps of version Z, I'm totally cool with that because version Z has been solid so far, but I would say it's not enough. There's just so much they potentially could do. You know, HD card arts, um, fixing the friend system, uh, like, you know, updating more of the sprites, right? Like, there's still a lot of things that could be done um, that could really, really enhance Dokkan still. So, let me know what you guys think. We'll definitely be uh, streaming the entire uh, Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour over on 5.9 on, you know, February 19th. Again, this is going to be smack dab in the middle of the 7th anniversary. So there's probably going to be a lot going on. I guess it's possible they could potentially even announce maybe like a Part 3 LREZA for the 7th anniversary or something like that. Or maybe the 7th anniversary will be the first celebration with like a third part with summonable LRs. What if, what if the 7th anniversary is like triple dual Dokkan Fest LRs or something like that. Or, or not not really triple dual Dokkan Fest, but what if we had a dual Dokkan Fest for part one? What if part two is a top legendary summon banner? And then what if part three is like another Dokkan Fest LR or another summonable LR or something like that? Like they just go balls to the wall. Like how absolutely crazy could it be, right? Like maybe they could announce something like that. We'll see, but... Uh, February is definitely going to be very hype um, for Dragon Ball in particular. So let me know what you guys think about the Battle Hour coming up on February 19th. I'll see you guys there. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.